Hey guys, it's Pastor Rob. Just wanted to come to you. I apologize for this video being a little bit late this week, but I was waiting for something to come that I could share with you. And uh, last night I did receive an email with this video that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But we have a great opportunity to um, sort of jump towards this revival for the Coachella Valley that we've been praying for for some time. Coming up on Saturday, the 24th of October, that's a week from this coming Saturday, at um, Palm Desert Civic Park at 6 p.m. at night, 20 churches are going to be gathered there to do corporate worship together and to pray over this valley for a revival to happen. What a great opportunity it is for us to join. We're one of the 20 churches that have been listed as uh, people taking part in this. And uh, they're just it's going to be a great time for us to gather together, share some time of worship, but then also pray that the Lord would actually do what we've been praying for for some time at our Savior, which is that he would actually provide a revival. So here, I'm going to play this video. I'd love you to take a look at it and listen to it, and then I'll talk to you when this is over as well. A breakthrough is coming to the Coachella Valley. Guys, I hope uh, you saw that video and think that it's going to be a great opportunity for us to get together. And I'd love you to join us um, at Civic Center Park in Palm Desert at 6 p.m. on October 24th. That's a week from this coming Saturday. I'd love to get as many people from the church there. Everyone's going to be social distancing. It's going to be outdoors. We're going to have masks on as well. So it's going to be a safe environment for us to come together and worship. But it's going to be important for us to do this as we pray over this valley. I can't think of a better time for us to actually pray over this valley than right now. I think this valley is ripe for a revival. And I think we have the opportunity to claim Jesus and to have people hear it now more than ever, just because of the circumstances we find ourselves in. And, you know, sometimes we're looking for these great signs to happen. I'm, I'm reminded of the story from Elijah where, where they were all waiting for the, the lightning to strike and they were hoping they would see God there or they'd see hear the thunder and they hope they see God there. But ultimately, God came in the quiet whisper of the wind. And, you know, I think that's exactly how he speaks to us, that we've heard this whisper of what God is calling us to as we are called to reach out with the gospel and do it boldly in this valley. And this is the first opportunity for us to do this. And what you're going to be hearing from me over the next few weeks is sort of the plan I have for how we can actually do this and move this out even further for a revival for this valley. So I look forward to sharing that with you as we go forward. Right now, I ask you to pray about this opportunity on October 24th as we come together on that Saturday evening with 20 other churches. By the way, this is a bilingual event that is just going to be awesome to gather people together to praise God for what he's doing, but also to pray for a revival. So join me if you can that evening, and uh, let's look forward to what God is going to be doing here. He's got an amazing thing, I think, happening and something really stored up for us if we are willing to go out and do that work. Now, the amazing thing I'll leave you with is this idea that I heard someone speak just the other day. They said, God never asked you to go out and do something that was going to be, you know, he never said it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. But don't do it because I care more about your comfort. See, God isn't that way. He knows that some of the things he asks us to do are going to be difficult and hard and that our comfort is found in Jesus not in our circumstances and the things that are all around us. 
So remember that as we start looking at, at the challenge over these next few weeks of what we need to do to truly reach out to this valley with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will join us on the 24th, and I pray that you'll join me as we try to create this revival with the help of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, take care, guys. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for this time together. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. As, Lord, we, we create a sound in this valley that would truly be something that would resonate and, and would create a revival in this place. We ask that you utilize us as your disciples here at Our Saviors to truly bring this revival to life. That, Lord, the only way we can do that is through you and your spirit. So, Lord, we ask that you would let it fill us today, that you would let us hear the whispers of your voice, that you would allow us, Lord, to, to be bold in how we share the gospel, and that, Lord, yes, it may be different from what we've done in the past, but, Lord, we know that you are calling us to do this. So, Lord, we just pray that you would allow what we do and all that we say to bring glory to you, and that, Lord, more and more people would hear that voice and know who you are and become followers of Jesus. So Lord, use us in mighty and great ways because we know you can do far more than we could ever imagine. And we pray this all in Jesus' glorious name. So take care, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.